This is the Motor Cop Chronicles podcast with the midweek news. Join your hosts, Iceman and Holstera, two law enforcement professionals ready to offer their unfiltered opinions on the latest news from the world of law enforcement. No filters, no edits. So be warned, the content may be upsetting to some listeners. Sit down and hold up. This may get a little bumpy. Welcome to Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast, Midweek News. Me and Hostera, and we got a special guest. What up? I'm going to turn his camera Again? on. I'm going to turn his camera there, there he is. Again? Free birds here with Free us tonight. Free birds <laughs> back in the house. After a good long abstinence. Uh, uh, abstinence. Abstinence. <laughs> <He's been> abstinence. <laughs> it's must, like a meat and two veg in here. Must, must be the whiskey. Uh. <laughs> Shame on you. Still, like and subscribe. If you're on YouTube, hit the bell right up there. I think you'll uh, know when we go live. Uh, if you're on Facebook, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. If you are listening to the audio, if you're on Apple, give me a five star. Write us a review. We'll appreciate it, and I will read it on uh, air. However you want to say it next time we have it. So, but if you're going to leave a one star, don't leave a review. It's okay. Yeah, just don't leave it. That's just, how I got just, back. Just I gave him a five away. star review. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> so he'd been holding me off because I had two stars. And they said, well, if you give me five, you can come on back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so do that. And if you'd like to be a guest, hit me up on the email Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast, Motor Cop Chronicles at gmail.com. Send me a message on Facebook. Uh, I am working on uh, on the local app. Now trying to get all that set up and trying to figure that shit out. So if the hell's a local app, uh, people other be another platform with stuff on it. So once I get it all done, like I said, of course I'm on Rumble. Go check that out. I'm gonna start posting some videos on there also. So you got to. ain't that the gay side? Uh, no, Rumble is not. Bumble, gay. Rumble. No, that that's. I, I hadn't even heard half of this shit. Bumble. That, there's so clapper. There, I have. I mean, I, I am on the clap. I do hey, yeah. uh, what the hell is that? It's like it's like TikTok, but not TikTok. So <laughs> anyway, it's too much shit out there. So we're gonna Oh. We, we, let's just do this shit. I'm getting all this look, I'm getting discombobulated. Uh let's see who we got here. Let's do a little shout out real quick. Uh we got perfectly dysfunctional functional designs. You can go buy a cup or a t shirt from Motor Cop Chronicles. She is like the most gonna awesome be, cups ever. She's gonna be setting up a like a on her Facebook page like a, a I don't know, a folder or whatever. It'll have my merchandise in it. You can send her a message and order it and set something up there. Hello, Christy. We got Melissa. We got Beth. We got Lil Ron. What's up, buddy? Got Christy and Alex. Christy, Christy's. Gonna stare at all, all the sites. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna get this out the way quickly, so you can yeah, drink so some whiskey. Partake in my so whiskey. everybody, strip for us. everybody that's watching, uh, Freebird is going to uh, <laughs> expose. Himself. He's gonna expose himself <laughs> yeah. on. on <laughs> on on the podcast. I mean, so if, so if you are any of, any children or anything watching, uh, put them away. Put your we, close your eyes. Everybody and, else, uh, if you know, according to all the stories, are exposing themselves. I just couldn't help it. I said, "Well, let me do it tonight." So, so you want to expose yourself? Here yeah, you go. Let me. Here we go. Here's your music. You I'm going to ask you this only once: Do you or do you not? Know about the bird. Oh, God. Because everybody's heard that the bird is the word. Uh, bird, 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 bird. The bird's a word. Uh, bird, 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 bird. The bird is a word. Uh, bird, bird, bird. And there we good. is Free Bird. Free Bird has unrevealed bird his identity. Mask. No mask on. Oh, so God, there he is. No, <laughs> <laughs> one day, mask. one day I won't have to use a. a as much a stuff as filter. I said in the past, I might want to put it back. No. Well. <laughs> You're not active anymore. So <laughs> you, you're good to go. Good to go. And, good you, to go. You, you are free. Get that damn subpoena in the mail tomorrow. Really free. Hostera, <laughs> Hostera kept texting me today. Hey, take your mask off. Take your mask off. He, <laughs> he Venmoed me twenty five dollars. So I said, All right, I'm go. <laughs> Oh well, so, 
we got all that going on. Uh, I guess since Freebird is the, is the special guest tonight, we'll let him start off with the stories. Well, all ready for some. We got some messed up stories to talk about tonight too. Well, they're, they're always. I think they're, they're always <laughs> messed up. Big birds? <laughs> no, they're always we're not talking up. about Big Bird. Man, you need. He got his vaccination. I know Big Bird got his vaccination. Yeah, Big Bird got it. Yeah, Big Bird. Doc, uh, Doctor Ouchy Fauci gave him the Ouchy Fauci. I don't know. And I congratulate he, he don't Big have Bird. To, he, don't have to, he don't have to worry about getting the bird flu now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what started all of this. Uh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, so, well, uh, uh, old Kermit was hanging out with Miss Piggy, and I think he got the swine flu. Like swine <laughs> he flu. got the swine flu from her. The swine flu with a little bit of the. Well, you you know you know Kermit's not a Muslim because uh, he eats pork. <laughs> he eats fucking pork all the time. <laughs> wow, yeah. well, I tell you what, I, I uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that happens. Oh, that happens. all right. Well, <laughs> let's start on this first story. Let's start now. on the first story. Well, the first one's a uh, good old home uh, out of St. Tammany Parish, our uh, Louisiana ex sheriff. Um, actually, he's waiting um, trial, going through his uh, sex case and his fraud trial. I think they're two separate cases. I, but, I think uh, they're having one of the trials. He's now, having one sure. of the trials, and uh, he he had actually a uh, co defendant that turned um state state's witness edit, yeah uh, witness so um i think he's accused of several four counts of aggravated rape while he was a sheriff he was here so for a long time for 20 years he was a sheriff for 20 years and um actually i'm surprised it was only four four counts it's a picture um, of him right there i just pulled up uh, that would be uh, ex sheriff uh, Strain, Mike Strain, Jack Strain. Jack Strain. Jack Strain. It looks Strain. like he could be a senator. Uh, he's got that look. Uh, is he related to the current? Um, I'm not president. sure. I know. Uh, probably about 15 years ago, I actually uh, attended one of his fundraisers. It was a it was a high dollar one. It was very very nice. I met the man. I never in a hundred years would have guessed that. He was Everybody's a pedophile. I mean, man. I mean, the man, I mean, man, like I said, the man was sheriff for 20 years, and now he's probably going to go to prison for the rest of his life. Well, apparently he's, he's facing life in prison. Uh, I, I don't, we don't know the details of all the four counts, but it was a uh, sexual, um, uh, I think, charges of rape. So it, uh, his federal case has, has something to do with the work release. But I don't know the parameters. Of oh uh, yes, I remember. I read something on it. They said he uh, he was they had the work release program or something going on. He was trying to I think funnel money from that into his personal account or something like that, kind of like embezzlement or some shit like that. Uh, apparently, this is uh, some same sex molestation. Yep, five men. Uh well, I, one of them must have dropped off. It only had four counts. I don't know. They'll probably um, they'll they'll name a they'll, they'll name a uh, the navy will name a ship after <laughs> Mister Strain here after he's convicted of the sex crime since that's what the navy does. We're not gonna get too much into that. Want we'll to talk to Holster later? We might be putting something out tomorrow night or something or or Saturday extra because they got a lot of political shit right now. I want to talk about yeah. and I'm trying to keep this with law enforcement. Uh, Actually, me and Hostera talk. We're going to talk about maybe starting a whole separate podcast just on politics, like because I don't have enough to do as it is. So, <laughs> but, but it makes sense because if we get completely taken down or completely censored, so, we don't want it to be on the main platform. Yeah. We want it well, to be on a sub. You're going to have to dedicate three or four hours, and that would just be only two stories for <laughs> political. <laughs> it, you it ain't can kidding. Be, can be bad, but uh, the ex sheriff up there. Uh, I don't I don't understand what goes through people's heads. The these people are these pedophiles, these people that want to have sex with children, gay sex with children, any sex with children, period. It's it's sick and disgusting and I don't I don't see how somebody can, can be attracted to a, a child like that. So He's, Maybe it was a power a, a authority issue. What I would like, like he to got know. off on the fact that they were like his slaves because they were in the prison. Well, my, no, well, no, one, of, one of them was in the. Uh, he was a sophomore in high school when uh, uh, he might have, you know, 
been one of those uh, weak kids that um, a man of power said, let, I don't know, know, I, let me show you something. Right. You know what I got? I'm wondering. Is this man – so he retired. I'm sure he gets retirement and probably a hundred and something thousand plus is retired. Did he still get that when he goes to prison or – did it get forfeited or? Technically, as long as you retire before you're convicted of a felony, you well, still he was, get it. He wasn't reelected. I, th- I think he lost. No, his, he got beat. Yeah, he lost the last his last time when he ran, but he still had enough time to retire. So I'm just I'm just wondering how that works. But anyway, see, but this well, is he my was a problem for 20 years. So I know he, he probably had uh, oh, close yeah. to 30 years in. But he's facing federal charges relating to an inmate work release contract. Yeah, and then the it goes on to say that he was arrested for the the minors. That's why I'm putting the two and two together. No, no, the no, the, the, the work separate. release stuff was the embezzlement where he was trying to take funnel funds. That's uh, so say, it, yeah, things. that's the two separate yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, that's the fraud trial. On he the, was screwing uh, kids side. and stealing money and and the taxpayers. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so I it, guess he needed more payoff money. And he, yeah. So anyway, that's him. Let's let's take him off of there. It's just that's just disgusting, disappointing. All together. Nice suit. It was a, it was a good picture. I, uh, I, he looked like a politician. I think that's why yeah. he was a sheriff for yeah, 20 years. Probably so. <laughs> uh, do you want to do the next one? Uh, I'll stare at a su- no. Suspect fires into Texas police station. Yeah. Harris County. Suspect fires multiple shots. Yeah. Let me play this little video first. I have a, a, a video. It's very short. I think it's only like 30 seconds long or something. Uh, it's right here. No no, no audio. Oh, you don't have the actual shot? Yeah. We, yeah. This, yeah, this is the actual. If you're go. watching on, go watch it on the that's video. The, that's our little dumb It's a little white Honda Civic or something, it looks like. But you can see where he just, he they, he opened fires with, a, I think it's a, a rifle. It's like two shots or something. I can't tell. It was several shots straight into the front door and it was rifle rounds and they penetrated through walls and everything in the building uh i'll play it again i mean if you're gonna shoot at a precinct why wouldn't you go mag dump no thank god nobody was hit yeah i understand that but two shots that's just a cry i'm I'm saying two shots i'm i'm i only saw i only saw two that's what i saw in this video which i don't have it really blown up on here but i'm seeing it's like now that's Harris, it's coming up. It's that's just, Harris County. Harris County. I, Har- Harris County will fuck you up. Well, if they catch. Hopefully, the they'll be able to. The, I think it's a. I think they said it's a white male. Go ahead and start reading the story. I think it's got more in it. Yeah, I'll read it. Yeah, it's the whole damn thing is just weird. It's pretty pretty short short story here. Uh, video suspect suspect fires multiple shots at Texas police station building. Shots were fired at the front doors, windows, and building of the Harris County Precinct for a constable's office. So I'm assuming there was more than two. Harris County, Texas, police are offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of a suspect who discharged a weapon into a police station Monday afternoon. Surveillance video captured the moment a white four-door sedan drove into the parking lot of Harris County Precinct 4 Constable's Office. The video shows the suspect firing multiple shots at the front doors, windows, and building before fleeing the scene. Uh, click to Houston.com reported, if anyone recognizes a suspect or vehicle, you were urged to contact Precinct 4's Constable Office. Uh, they got a telephone number up there or local law enforcement office. Uh, Constable Mark Herman said no injury, no injuries were reported. And am I missing something? Because that's where the hell the story ends. Well, yeah, uh, I don't think they, it was. I watched a, a, a video on it. It was about eight minutes long. I didn't want to play something that long. They said no one was hit. The building was completely penetrated by the uh, rounds. And they're working. They didn't get a license plate off of their cameras, but they said they were working on the uh, probably neighbor surrounding neighbors. businesses that yeah. are trying to get cameras. The hopefully they'll catch this motherfucker. Uh, I'm wondering if they're going to replace that. Which makes you think they need to still put bulletproof glass in these places, and I'm like that. Well, I'm surprised this son of a bitch had probably had to have scouted it out to know. I mean, what's the chances of somebody not walking out or or being in the parking lot? So he you must just got to be a crazy son of a bitch to open fire like that anyway. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, Freebird Diane Lee says hello. Hello. Uh, Robert Tear. What's up, Robert? S. Hello, F- Diane. MF, happy birthday. Uh, but, it, yeah, you got to be really ballsy to just do that. I'm, I'm just glad there wasn't nobody hit, especially no civilians or law enforcement. I, I think they said the building was empty or something at the time. So, so that was a rifle round. I mean, he actually they, pulled the they, rifle. They said the that he. Side. They said he used a rifle. Dropper. So that that that's what the news I mean, story said. That's another said. pain in the ass to pull the rifle up to shoot the damn thing. So you almost. Well, well we can thank the. Uh, personally, I think we could go thank uh, MSNBC, CNN, and all those other woke media places for. They get, still getting so much hatred in us for law enforcement that you have people like that going for it so next thing you you know all the police station is going to have an armed guard at the back door waiting for somebody to drive through the parking lot so any bulletproof know. glass and stuff like that so I mean, that's messed up well this next one is mine i'm gonna pull a picture up of the guy got a little picture up he this is a handsome he's fella. got a he's got a boo-boo He's he's handsome. Look how pretty this man is right here. I hope this motherfucker, I'm going to say right now, I hope this motherfucker gets ass raped every single night in prison by a dude with like a, a 14 inch dick, okay? A pecker badge? I'm this, I hope, I hope his butthole gets stretched out so bad that when he sits down, he ain't even got a strain. It just, the shit just falls out of his ass, okay? That's what this dude deserves. He looks like he might already been there. Yeah, that's why his head's so damn big. Well, I hope I hope he got that that bruise on his head because because he got hit on a wall when 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 Bubba, when Bubba was Bubba's railing him nights. in his ass. This one piece of Bubba's of shit. rough nights in the prison. So. And this, this is also a local story uh, from Baton Rouge uh, from WBRZ. Uh, this was today too. This, this story was from today. Man impersonating cop allegedly handcuffs a teen and raped her at a nearby park. It's in Baton Rouge, a man, yeah, it's sick, isn't it? I didn't realize that was Baton Rouge. A man is accused of detaining and raping a teenage girl while masquerading as a police officer in the Gardier area. I will say that's not. That's not a white area. It's not a place you actually want to go visit either. You know what I mean? So. I'm happy with the news article. They don't, they don't use anybody's uh, skin color. So, because rape is rape, I don't care what color you are. Right. So I'm glad that they actually did do this. This is in a, a, a more a bad area of yeah. Baton Rouge. The East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office said Jason Miller. That's that piece of shit on the screen. If you're looking at it. Oh, Robert's asking a question. I'll break in. Uh, that was uh, the ex sheriff Strain in St. in St. Tammany Parish. It's, I don't know if he's an incest or what, but he's got all kind of rape charges on him. Jason Miller, fifty three, was arrested Tuesday night. The department reported the assault happened at two in the afternoon on November seventh. That the that that's ballsy doing this shit during the daytime too. Usually, you hear about it at night. After Miller pulled up alongside the 17-year-old victim as she was walking in the area of Starboard Drive and Stern Avenue, the girl told investigators that Miller flashed what appeared to be a badge from inside of his truck, which you can buy a badge anywhere. I mean, so. And he told her to put her hands against the vehicle. Miller then allegedly asked the girl if she was involved in buying or selling drugs and placed her in handcuffs before putting her in the back seat of the truck. The victim said she began began recording on her phone while she was riding in the vehicle and noticed Miller had a handgun on the front passenger seat. So I'm I'm wondering on this part, it said he handcuffed her. Uh she started recording did she just pull the phone out of her pocket and hit record and, or, or for audio or, or what I'm, I'm not i guess that's what she did well i mean we talked about that the other day it is a very common thing to do in certain cities to uh start recording when you come in contact with law yeah. enforcement and this is a good reason yeah, why this she is did a, it. a good reason miller reportedly 
stopped at a nearby park and got into the back seat armed with a stun gun. Telling the girl he did not want to have to stun gun her or hurt her, he then allegedly told the teen he would let her go if she performed sex acts on him. After the assault, the victim said Miller let her out of the vehicle and then drove away. The victim was later able to positively identify Miller as the man who raped her. He's charged with false imprisonment, first-degree rape, and impersonating a police officer. So, I hope... I, I, you know, they don't say where that occurred. So, Gardner only has... It has a, a park. So, it, there's a park, whatever park's close in that area. Uh, well, they there's... Um, there's a park that's right off of Guard Deer Lane, but that's after you cross. Uh, was it Nicholson there? It's, I, it's I on, guess. It's, I'm not, I'm not familiar with great in that area, but anyway, the, the Mr. Miller up here, uh, this piece of fucking shit, who uh, Robert says Guard Deer called Guard Deer Park. I don't know. Well, got, well, yeah, but it's not. Uh, it's right on the outskirts. But that, but this piece of shit. That's if you look in the video. Or, watching it later he is a piece of shit and they can say alleged to all he wants he he probably pretty raped this girl and uh you know what I, you know what i would just wish uh, if if he if he forced this girl to have oral sex with him i wish some of these women that are forced to do that would just bite these fucking piece bite of shit rapists, bite their dicks completely off because they don't need to have dicks no more so anyway, well, I'm surprised. Uh, she might have been. She might have been on the. Uh, I, I don't know how old it, it didn't say. How so old. she was 17. I was fixing to say because, um, yeah. But but screw that dude. I mean, it's being in law enforcement. We have a hard enough time as it is. Now we got people pretending to be us and then raping right. people. Yeah. He needs his dick bit off, just chomped off, spit it out on the ground, stomp on it, and hopefully he bleeds to death before paramedics get there. So And let me tell you, he ain't coming after the, you. He ain't ready to fight. If you take oh, that no, neck clean no, off, no, he ain't coming no, after you. No, he, he's going to just lay there and bleed because I'm pretty sure. Uh, it won't be a Lorraine and Bob, but he's not going to step around <laughs> and try to find that son of a bitch. No, yep. he's not. Fling it to the seagulls. Yeah. So screw that dude. Fuck him. And, uh. Hope he gets what he deserves more times than any. So, <laughs> Robert, it's your turn. With, you're dealing with a lot of people. I mean, that we got to deal with with the shit towards the police. Now you you're dealing with dumbasses that acting like the police. You know, like the yeah, police that that pisses me off. We don't, uh, you know, you, you're catching it from all sides. I can't stand people like that. I can't stand rapists, pedophiles, wife beaters, all in people like that. Oh, look at Alex says, welcome back, Freebird. Well, thank you, Alex. <laughs> Appreciate it. Robert, I uh, said, oh, okay. Okay, Roy. 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 <laughs> Roy. Uh, here, here you go. We wait, you, we we're waiting for it. Look. Look up. Oh, I'm just teasing. Yeah. Right huh? there. Well, here it comes. Don't uh, get it too high. Here, here. Oh, nope. Look at the other side. Oh, there you go, Roy. There you go, Roy. Look. There you go. He does right. that in big old sausage fingers, <laughs> don't he? That's what, that's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the next story uh, is we're just going. That sounds we're we're like, going to be christening the ship before sounds long. Like a, sounds like a prison story. <laughs> oh, yeah, are we talking about that one? No, we're not. No. <laughs> Damn it. No, he was just talking. You were talking I told about you, his sausage I just said fingers. we're probably going to do an extra one either tomorrow night or Saturday. We got to. Bonus it's, it's too much. Too much substance yes, to miss yes. out on. Well, like, like I said, you were talking about sausage fingers, and it just sounded yeah, like just a prison kinda, story. Yeah, just <laughs> one, just one knuckle, so, one knuckle, and you're not yeah. gay with one knuckle. <laughs> Anything past one knuckle, you're gay. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> past one knuckle, so you're safe <laughs> up to one. Well, you're safe up to one knuckle after two. If you take it two knuckles, yeah, yeah. That's got to be a exit interview. Yeah, yeah. that's, gotta be that's an an exit, exit interview. <laughs> exit interview. <laughs> oh, the well, next story next is story of Rhode Island. It's out of Rhode Island. You sure? Well, I, I've got uh, the the one that's uh, soliciting the juvenile for sex. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I see that too, there, boss. I totally skipped over yeah. that one. Go ahead and read that one. It's so a good we thing we're here. To, it's a good thing free birds here tonight. It's a good thing you're here because I would have just totally <laughs> fucked up the whole yeah. podcast. It was just been totally <laughs> off the the rail. 
Well, apparently uh, <laughs> we've got so much shit that happens in Baton Rouge. Uh, and this is another story from Baton Rouge. Another uh, solicitation. Well, Baton uh, Rouge is very like prestigious city now. I mean, well, people uh, are flock. I mean, law enforcement officers are flocking over there to work for the department. Yeah. Uh, I'm making all this wow. shit up too, by the way, because that's not the truth. Look, it I'm talking like the Joe Biden. Just go ahead. Build back better. My butt's been wiped. So. But, but go, go ahead and read this one because I don't All right. know. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there was a man that uh, doesn't know how to use the computer and, and ask for an age because apparently he solicited a 15-year-old for oral sex. I wish I'd have put the picture of this dude up. Uh, yeah, he, he looks like he... <laughs> He looks like a bad He looks like the prison wouldn't even give him oral sex. You know? Yeah, I mean, he, he this dude's kind of weird looking. I doubt he's even going to get raped in jail. He should be. I uh, know he, he somebody's got to do it. You know, some some twenty year veteran's got to do it. And uh, but apparently he, um, you know, solicited a fifteen year old, and uh, I don't know if he asked questions before, like, "Hey, what's your age?" And they said fifteen, and I don't know if his eyes got big and said, "Oh yeah, this is my age." category because he's 27 you know so i I don't know if you uh if these guys just look for a certain age group and they're like was this a a girl or a boy he was soliciting well uh i think it's uh it doesn't say i'm I'm, you can't ask that nowadays i'm thinking well i don't (laughs) What are your pronouns before I rape you? There, there, there's a the, my pronouns. <laughs> yes. is, you a boy or a girl? Period. I, I'm not doing that shit. They, oh, apparently, God. the news didn't even. It's a juvenile. But it's a juvenile, but I sex. think I think farther down the story, if I remember correctly, is uh, he uh, knew the family or something like that. Uh, Why you're looking for that? Okay, so I can explain how this guy looks. Has everybody here seen the movie Fifth Element with the guy with the plastic on his head and the hair off the other side? That's how this guy looks. You it's, know, Iceman totally missed a point. I, I, on totally, this one. I missed the. I should have put the picture up. Not just totally missed that. One. Well, I see that he was. A, he did know the family and and was a coach. Now, what kind of coach? It's got to be a hairstyle. A coach. hairstyle coach. Hairstyle I don't, I don't coach. <laughs> it's got to be a hairdresser. Hairstyle. I mean, we're not. There's nothing wrong with that. But his style is a little different than. Uh, they're going to love it in prison. Uh, Robert, I, I do identify as a unicorn sometimes because my farts are magically delicious and I piss excellent. It's like I'm just pissing pure cotton candy out my cock, and it's delicious also. What was so that unicorn? Right. What was that damn unicorn something or another? Unicorn, unicorn titty milk. Unicorn titty milk. Yes, unicorn titty milk is delicious. I, we never have talked about unicorn titty milk. Not in a long Roy, time. It's been a well over a year since we've talked about unicorn Roy titty milk. doesn't have a clue on it. You know, no, uh, unicorn titty milk is uh, is actually a moonshine sipping cream that is yes. magically delicious. Magically delicious. And I said it. I call it unicorn titty milk because it's so delicious. It's probably what milk coming out of a unicorn titty would taste like. I'll ask Kim Jong Un the next time I talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might be able to talk to this guy here Magic. that we're talking about. Yeah, th- this this I bet you he fucker. knows. Maybe him and XR will be in a cell together, but they're both the wrong ages for each other. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's you know at least forty years uh, older than what he's looking mm. for. It, it, it's uh, very delicious, Roy. Next time you come by, I'll let you taste them. They you can't get <laughs> you can't get that stuff in. Wh- where's he at? Well, he's uh, in Florida. 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 Roy's in Florida. Florida's just Louisiana's step cousin, all right? <laughs> they don't even I issue. I don't know, but the governor there. sure is leading the way across. Yeah, the, across they got an the awesome United governor. States. They got an awesome governor. He needs to move here, that's for sure. No, no. Oh, Y'all no, stick with your guy. Stay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, since I totally missed that story. Anyway, I yeah. wish I'd had the picture of this. Thanks, Austin, for up. backing me up. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Mike, yeah. Well, been voted on now. Anyway, this Big piece of shit, Santis. another pedophile that, like I said, this dude, if he does get ass raped in prison, I'm thinking he'll probably like it. He'll, yeah, hey, y'all keep Edwards. Yeah, I'm, he might have pulled. He might have pulled this out. just to go to prison. He might have. I mean, he might have. <laughs> one day I will talk about some time, some stuff from when I was a correctional officer in the state penitentiary at one time, and some of the shit I saw up there. It was. They had some punks up in there and stuff like that. And if anybody knows, that's what they used to. 
I don't know if they still do, a punk was a homosexual person in prison who dated other men. Shit, they don't want me as governor. <laughs> I support that too, Robert. <laughs> I would take the job, though, because I'd fix a whole bunch of shit. I'll tell you that right now. I'd probably, right before I'd be you got impeached. Right before I got impeached, yeah. <laughs> My, hey, if you're going to go down, go if down. If I'm going to go flames. down, I'm going to go down hard. Go down in flames. <laughs> this? All right. Well, Holster get to this read is this almost, one. This the is Rhode Island as Police. As as, uh, unicorn titty milk. Yeah. <laughs> Some unicorn titty milk is delicious. Uh, Rhode Island, the Rhode Police. Island Police thing. This, this, this is just, I'm glad I don't live in Rhode Island. <laughs> All right. Not. Rhode Island police defend graduating recruits who failed firearm qualification. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Over a criticism from a police union, Providence PD says that three recruits are qualified with the necessary skills. No, they ain't. Oh, my God. Providence, Rhode Island, the chief or the city's police chief, Colonel Q. Clements, either way is standing behind the firearms proficiency of three police recruits despite sharp sharp criticism from the police union leader. Mike, the president of the police officers union, says the three recruits shouldn't graduate with their class this weekend because they failed to qualify with a time within a time frame set forth in the department's policy. Well, <laughs> Well, wait, though. They, they're probably going to stick them in a janitorial. Uh, no. that he can still work for the police department. They just can't even carry a gun. They're going to put him in charge of the SWAT team. No, it's he's going to be, he's yeah. gonna be the, right. they're, they're gonna be the new uh, firearms instructor. <laughs> you, see that, you see that barn over there? You just got to hit it one time. the side of that barn. <laughs> well, I didn't see where it said that it, they were not – Accurate. They well, said that they were taking more time. Well, it said that I think they failed to qualify the first time, so they gave them more times to shoot and stuff like that. Well, it, and well, I guess run short on time, but you don't know how that exists. Either you, you qualify or you don't qualify, and especially in an academy like that. So that that's what it is. So I mean. everybody gets a trophy. Is this everybody gets a trophy? Everybody gets this a bullet. Not. Everybody gets until they go out there and accidentally hit somebody that they weren't aiming at, and then suddenly, hey, we'll go back to the training. Roy Roy wants to know what what Freebird is drinking. Uh, That is my uh, own whiskey, Roy. Well, yeah, this is my uh, special concoction. It's a special blend. Text me out later. I'll tell you out of uh, out of my mason jar. (laughs) Matter of fact, my own mason jar that uh, that I made. (laughs) <laughs> oh yes but anyway if you so if you go to rhode island and something's gonna happen sherry says you're drinking white claw so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> white claw that was if you're a man and you drink white claw i would throw up all you over might as well just put like a rainbow wig on and that might have been the juvenile <laughs> solicitation of the juvenile. They might have been drinking white claw because yeah it, it might have been drinking white claw but if you're been. in rhode island and the these new recruits uh, pull a gun on you. Just stand still. It's a good chance you won't get hit. So, <laughs> hey, you know, we did. Uh, you know, uh, you know, not not to defend them, but we did have somebody in our academy one time. You know, at the two yard line where you step back and draw and then fire. Well, he actually fired and hit the concrete in front of us, oh and God. about seven people just got sh- you know splattered with Trap. concrete pieces. And everybody's like, what the hell is going on? Well, he when he pulled the gun out of the holster, he fired before the damn thing got up on target and hit the concrete. And that son of a bitch splintered everybody. Uh, Alex, we we don't we don't need no permits around here. So you just <laughs> hush your damn mouth. Alex. Alex. I know where you live. I uh, you too. used to you, Alex used to know where the Iceman lived. Yeah. But he forgot. He forgot. He forgot. Have to Robert says Robert him. said that, that the free bird drank Shirley Temples. Uh I did back in the day. I think I got a little little um uh, uh drunk on one one time back <laughs> when I was twelve, I thought. <laughs> so so Rhode Island is uh I kinda agree with the people that are complaining about that. I, I just don't think these guys maybe should have graduated then. Maybe sent them back through some other training. So uh well, don't uh, apparently. They I mean, I did see the Rhode time. Island police uh, in that. What was that, Jim? 
was that Jim Carrey played and uh, what me, oh, myself, yeah, me and myself and Irene? Yeah. Hilarious movie. It's hilarious. Don't they get more than one time to try to pass the post? Usually twice is what we got. Well, we did too. Oh, but it's once Rhode, you screw it off the first, second time, then that's your ass. But, in Rhode Island. Yeah, you had to take the whole academy over. Not in Rhode Island. You can just. Well, they don't want cops to have fucking guns anymore anyway. Yeah, so, man. you know. Yeah, because I know hitting a target from 25 yards with that, that damn would, Nerf gun, you got to be pretty damn yeah. accurate. That would be the same ones that want them to graduate, that want you to shoot them in the, you know, the, shoot them in the shoot leg. Shoot them in the toe? Yeah. Could you well, just I don't know why they had to off? shoot and kill him. Well, why didn't they just uh, shoot him in the leg? Shoot him in the toe. All right. Rhode yeah, Island made, there. Let so. me make Roy happy. I got a little water, too, Roy. So, no, it's my turn. This one's a good one, too. Oh, I, I had a little water with it. Oh, you had a little water with it? Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, Shirley Temple's a delicious. I'm surprised. Look, you know, uh, I'm surprised that was the first thing on Roy's mind was a Shirley Temple. Yeah. Shirley it was. Shirley it was. <laughs> That's so you can walk that that's just so cheesy. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Anyway, I got a picture of this dude up. Uh, let me see which one it is. Always on the beach in Florida with a Shirley Temple man. It's in the. <laughs> here we go. This fella right here. And, and I got. Uh, my this guy name. looks so damn from there. Uh, anyway, the this is out of Mississippi, Magnolia State Live reporting on it. Uh, three days ago, the headline read, which why it caught my attention. Oh, Roy's wanting to know where that damn stolen Pizza Hut cup is. It's on the front porch. <laughs> That's like your signature now. You got to start bringing your pizza. Hut yeah, cup. hell, this ain't my turn to read anyway. I'll be right back. <laughs> Mississippi police chief charged with DUI. TV station reports it wasn't his first time to be accused of DWI. DUI, I'm sorry. That's him up there. It's the same fucking thing, I guess. Uh, A Mississippi police chief has been arrested for driving under the influence a TV station reported Sunday. John Griffith, the police chief of Enterprise, Mississippi. I'm not sure where that's at. I've never heard of Enterprise, Mississippi. I never have either. It's on Star Trek Lane. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Right next to (laughs) the Klingons. (laughs) The Mississippi and a former police officer leader with the Meridian Police Department, well, I know where that's at, was arrested recently and charged with DWI, DWTOK TV and Meridian uh, reported. Griffin resigned from his role as a lieutenant with the Meridian Police Department in 2020 after he was arrested for a DUI charge in Alabama. In the 2020 arrest, Griffith was stopped by officers in Orange Beach, Alabama, after other motorists reported that Griffith was driving reckless. He was stopped and determined by officers to be drunk, though he refused the intoxilizer. So uh, that's that's the end of the story. I mean, it's pretty short, but I guess he just got popped again. Uh, Apparently, he didn't learn the lesson. He had the, uh, I guess, an advantage on the first time. The second time, he was well, screwed. <sighs> Had a little help on the first time. I guess he's the chief of police wherever he got hired on. At. It's about twenty. It's about twenty miles south of um, Meridian. What? Now I ain't defending this man whatsoever. Don't don't get me on that whatsoever. But obviously, I, I could see if you if you you know, I can see somebody fucking up and getting a DWI. No, I never have. I'm just saying I can see it happening one time. You go through all that crap, which is a big hassle, and you don't do it again. That's why now, you always take the police car to the bar. Now, yeah, that that works out great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they had a Baton Rouge cop recently. I mean, not too long ago, a detective or something. Remember, or was that a state trooper? I don't remember. They had one that got in trouble for drinking and driving. I don't know if it was in a unit or not, though. But my thing is, this man, it, within this short of a period of time, I think there's an underlying issue. Maybe he has a alcohol issue or drinking. I mean, he might be. I mean, he, maybe he's got some demons and he's trying to drown them in the alcohol. I don't know. 
But to get a DW, two DWIs within this short amount of period of time, that he's got underlying issues going on. There's got to be a, a bright side of the story here. At least he was in his own personal vehicle. He wasn't in a. a I don't think he unit. was in a unit or nothing like that. But I mean, the, the, but the, I do know one. I'm uh, not defending him. I mean, hey, you you, you, you can kill somebody doing that. So I know one from last year. They got a DUI in the unit out of Calcasieu Parish. I even knew. I knew this deputy. Ran it off the road. DUI. It was right after the hurricane, I think, right after Laura. Well, yeah, you can't do that. You actually got to keep it between, you know, Helen Keller driving by yeah, Braille. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do it, do it in your vehicle, I guess, and don't wreck <laughs> don't wreck a police-issued unit. Yeah, uh, Alex, they tend to ask questions. I don't think he was drinking unicorn milk and ice. <laughs> no, because it wouldn't have been driving. If you, were, if you, drank, if you drank it. unicorn milk, he would magically just fly home because – Unicorn milk is magically delicious. And it doesn't taste like White Claw, I know that. And Roy and April are going back and forth. And I think April says that that's Roy's cousin up there. So, (laughs) I was going to say he kind of resembled Roy a little bit. I wasn't, I didn't want him to drop off. Uh, But anyway, I think this man, you know, he definitely. uh, Roy's not going to come back and visit us anymore. He needs. uh, We just saw Roy uh, this past weekend. He come and got a cup from Bam. He was around oh, town, he, and uh, he didn't, he, he didn't stay long. He it was a short visit. He had a festival to go to, and uh, but yeah, I, I think that that guy has uh, some. I think he needs uh, some professional help to get clean off the alcohol because I think he's he's fighting something. He's got some That's issues. Right. Well, he's got some issue. April said, "My people from." County Macomb. April, do not brag about that. Don't brag about <laughs> that at all. <laughs> Roy, Roy, Robert Roy was in town for like he, he stopped by for like I don't know fifteen minutes, and he he was he was out. Wait, he gone. came all the way from Florida, and then no, no, he was minutes. visiting his parents. They were out camping, and they had a, a festival in Abita Springs, and he had some festivities to get to because they party in Abita. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. I don't know. If they uh, do or well, not anyway. Uh, apparently so. Apparently it, it, it was a party because normally he likes to just stay and hang out a little bit. And, yeah, well, I, I didn't cook this time either, so maybe he was hungry. <laughs> no, they had a you know, last few they, times. He, last two times he came over, I cooked, so. they had a Shirley Temple making festival. That's, That's what it was. What That's what it was. Roy was had to get to the Shirley Temple festival. Yeah. Yeah, he got one knuckle. I did not go two knuckles deep when Roy was here visiting, and I, I let he did. I did <laughs> let him said, rub my hand, you know, said, and I had some special. <laughs> like, he uh, said he had the sausage uh, first knuckle. He said he gave him the whole fist. <laughs> yeah, Shh. yeah. That's why he didn't. That's why he didn't stay long and he didn't drink. He was Couldn't he was walk. afraid. This you know? this next story. <laughs> the, the, the next the music. next story is. Uh, <laughs> It's going to be an update. There's an update. If people have been listening for a while, it's oh. not go back. This uh, this was around what? Uh, this was right around the, the nine. Uh, right, I think I did the story right after the nine eleven stuff. Yeah, this is the and man bun kid this, that this decided is, to snatch all the flags and say I was collecting. Yeah, if y'all remember the stupid oh, motherfucker. Is that what this one is? He, yeah, he okay. he stole the flags and stuff like that and was taking them down. Uh, it was like a what, like a thousand flags or some shit like that. It, it was a yeah, a lot. But uh. Yeah, we're going to update on him while he's doing that. I'll be right back. Oh, all right. <laughs> Clubhouse is fixing to go to shit right now. <laughs> Me and Hostera's got this deal. Just read it. Look, there's a, there's a whole hell of a lot of uh, controls in here that I'm fixing to just push them all off there. This fucking Star Trek Enterprise. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. You take you take it. Uh, you and... Um, yeah, I'll read it. Yeah, we covered I, the I'm first not part sure. Uh, I I remember the original story. Um, I have I'm not familiar with this one here. I, I know yeah, he I vandalized it, and I know that he uh, he only got uh, I think a fine and probation. Yeah, he's a little fucking prick. So yeah, hang on one second. Student who vandalized 911 tribute display gets nominal fine. Probation college Republicans will push for more disciplinary actions. A Missouri college student who vandalized a 911 display to protest islamophobia got hit with a fine and probation but will be allowed to continue in his high post 
and student government. As the Free Press reported in September, Fadal Alakidnini, a student at Washington University in St. Louis, yanked out 2,977 small U.S. flags that the campus college Republicans had planted in the park in memorial for each victim of the 9-11 attacks. When confronted, according to the recent account by the campus newspaper, uh, I'm going to call him Mahmed, told university police that he was a college Republican member, no, that police, that he was a college Republican member and was replacing old flags with new ones, so he lied to the cops. In remarks to the campus newspaper, after the incident became public, uh, Ahmed said the flags were a political prop and that he was fighting for Islamophobia. I, I want to know where where the college campus Republicans or everybody else that was at this memorial that have oh yeah because uh, I'd beat his interest, ass because they need to beat the ever living shit out of this stupid. But nowadays it's a hate crime. Well, personally, I think he know. should be he should be kicked out of school. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, you got to go old school. Apparently, that's what's going to have to happen with this movement. You got to go old school. It's coming back to the wild west. You're just going to start shooting people on the street. Yeah, unfortunately, it's becoming that. It's that. I mean, that's where we're headed. Been saying that for 15 years. So uh, I mean, I, I don't know. You know, you can't talk sense into these dumbasses, and then the court lets them off with a s- small fine, and uh, you know. So the only repercussion. Oh fuck! So here's what his punish was: five hundred dollar ticket, and he's in probation until he graduates school. That probation don't mean shit. No, he's. You know that's not going yeah, to deter. Nothing. That's not going to that's deter nothing. him anything. And I bet you some some dingleberry is going to pay his five hundred dollar fine. Probably George Soros. Oh, if Soros, they haven't already, yeah. Bet you George Soros to pay his damn fine. Uh, Jojo so Carter says she it loves treated like the Islamics do and to cut his fucking Carter. hand well, off hello, for uh, stealing the flags. So glad you were back. Well, thank you, thank you. So, like I said, it cost me uh, twenty five dollars <laughs> on Venmo. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Beth Jensen just said, wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, this little bastard here, uh, he just needs to go ahead and move to Afghanistan. Well, like I said, are you, some, some of the I'm pretty sure, take this. I'm pretty sure they'd probably cut his head over there, off over there, because I don't think they like gay people. I'm a well, yeah, had it not been he, in Kentucky, they'd have tried that shit at, you know, Bama or A&M, he probably would have got his ass stomped. Oh, I'm sure. Anyway, fuck that dude, but I just wanted to do the update since usually they don't tell you what people get when the shit happens, and I saw it pop up, and I said, oh, let's throw that shit on there. I, I, but he I'm didn't gonna, get what he deserved. I want to add in, I'm going to tell a, just a quick story on a, on a girl that uh, had ripped had ripped some visors off, and I think I told you this before. She had ripped some visors off of a car that she had given to her husband, boyfriend. We go to court over this. She Which got, one was it? Was it her husband or her boyfriend? Or was it? I, I don't remember. It's so long ago, it was either a husband or boyfriend, but they had a baby together. Apparently, the husband was pissed off enough that he took some clothes and burned them in a trash pile, some baby clothes, burned them in a trash pile. And uh, so I ended up cutting her a summons for damage to property. So she, uh, she goes to court and fights it in court. Now, she gets up in court and says, hey, yeah, I did rip these little visors off. That's a little wind visors. They didn't cost maybe, I think she said, $80 that she would replace them and buy him some more. But she was so pissed off that she grabbed them and threw them in the fire and they burnt. Well, you know, so apparently this judge uh, gave her a six-month sentence for criminal damage to property. And my mouth hit the floor because we were in court over this, uh, you know, because I had a summons for it. And... Over eighty dollars worth of shit that she had bought her a boyfriend or husband, and uh, she got six months, which is the max in Louisiana for criminal damage to property. Somebody didn't like her. Uh, apparently, the judge didn't like her because she was up in front. Yeah, she went to trial. She so must have got judge, judge. She must have got Judge Dread. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was close. Guilty. It was close. That that's why I'm figuring. Exactly. That's what I'm yeah. figuring. That, that you know what, Judge? Yeah, that's why about. I just said I told him Judge she Dredd. gave her some shit, boy. And I, I was like, I, I like to fell out when she said uh, six months for eighty dollars worth of visors were plastic, and then you got some shithead like this that you can't get any. You can't 
do anything to. Well, he's got a man bun. It's a superpower. Uh, I guess that's uh, sympathy in the court. I if you got a man bun. If you got a man bun, you can get away with anything. You, you got want. a caricature, caricature tour that uh, has a man bun? You might have to put one up uh, there. No, on. if I did have it, I, I sure wouldn't. No. <laughs> no. I would not. I we'd, would. we'd go easy on you. No, not not with a man bun. No, no one can go easy on anyone with a man bun. That's right. You got to grab him by it, choke him. Oh, ha! Gay! That's for the man bun. <laughs> just, just saying. I'm just saying. Well, why does it even have to be gender specific on the bun? Roy, I'm feeling very sexually abused by you right now. I'm just. <laughs> talk about my yeah. bun. Don't talk about my bun. <laughs> Roy. All right. Uh, this the next story. Is it my it's my turn. It must have been. Yeah, yeah it I is because you, you skipped out on me on Holstera. Well, I had to I'm old and I've been drinking whiskey and I had to pee pee. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I had, to, I had to pee pee. I had to tinkle. I had to tinkle. He, he, he took one sip of my iced tea, and that's where he I did. I drank some of his iced tea, and made me pee pee. <laughs> well, my ice, uh, my well, I don't have any wiped. ice anymore. It melted. Oh, my butt's been wiped. Which one is this? Oh, here we go. You don't. Uh, you want me to tell you what story? No, I, I, I got it. <laughs> I got it. You're on the. Yeah. I got this. Let me pull this this picture up here. Oh, there, we're gonna have to give him some flashcards. Look, look at it. See, <laughs> see this fine gentleman up here that that's covering your face there on those free bird. He's on your forehead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This guy right here is fucking awesome. You hear me? This dude, this guy, I know is fucking guy. awesome. He look. I know. I've seen him before, and I know that it's not who. It's not who I thought it, he looked like. Somebody else, but it wasn't him. It's somebody else. Oh, that's anyway, not who it is. No, yeah, I know you think it is, but it's not him. Okay. Uh, Anyway, th this story is from Louisiana, from brproud.com. Rapids Parish, Louisiana. I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. I'd shake this man's hand and pay for his dinner. The Rapid Parish Sheriff, that's him. He's the sheriff from Rapids Parish. <laughs> says he will not follow the ouchy fouchy mandate from the federal government. If that, anybody's wondering where Rapids is, it's around Alexandria, North Louisiana. Now, the sheriff says, while I encourage all of our deputies to get the ouchy fouchy, I will not follow the vaccine, the ouchy fouchy mandate from the federal government, said Sheriff Mark Wood. That's Sheriff Mark Wood. We have about 50% of our department fully uh, ouchied up and have had several of our deputies come down with the China virus over the last 18 months, with some even hospitalized. With that said, I believe this decision to get the ouchie fauci should be left up to the individual. And while I encourage our deputies to get to Ouchie Fauci, I also respect and support their decisions not to. Uh, bravo. Yeah. I thought there was a federal hold on that There's anyway. Be, it, it is, it is, but you still have a lot of places. Uh, There's got to be something in there somewhere. Yeah, there. right here. Th this is what the sheriff gets. So uh, you still have a lot of, I mean, there is a, a hold on it right now, but there is uh, still a lot of, I don't know any around here, any departments that are forcing their people to do it. I haven't heard. But you have a lot of these big corporations and all this other stuff like that that are forcing their people to do it, even though, you know, I mean, like I said, let me say it again, I'm not against any kind of vaccine. Yeah, we not, got friends at local doctor's offices not, that are all getting fired because they won't take it. Not not against it. I just want to have it. It should be my choice and anybody else's choice on what they want to put into their body. 
My body, my choice. If I want to so, get pregnant and keep the baby, I can. Or if I want to kill this child inside of me, I mean, so it, it just should be the individual's choice. And all these people that are screaming, oh, well, you're going to, you know, you need to get it to protect me. Well, if you have it, you're protected, correct? So why are you worried about if I have it? And like I said before, and all these people screaming about it, y'all don't like us anyway. So what, why are you worried about if we get it or not? Don't you want us to get it and maybe pass on? Of course, I've had I've had COVID. Free Bird had it. Free Bird's had COVID. Uh, and he he went and got the uh, monoclonal antibody transfusion thing. Cocktail and infusion. He didn't even run a fucking fever. Nothing. No. So, but like no. I said we've both had it. Uh, I don't know if Holster has had it or not. I, I know other people that's nah, had it. I ain't fitting to either. I know other people that's had it, and, and I understand a lot of people have passed on and died from it and stuff like that. But you know what? People die of all kinds. Are they going to outlaw McDonald's? I'm, I'm about they better to, not. I'm about, to, I'm about to hurt Holster. Are you going to outlaw the McRib? No more McRib. I, I outlaw. More. Outlaw the McRib. That what because we have in the McRib constitutional shoot, battles. Hollister is shooting somebody. He's going to fire some rifle round. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> well, 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 McDonald's Burger King made people fat, and you get a coronary disease and die of heart attack. So we just got to shut them all down, right? Let me tell you, if I die from eating McRibs, I died happy. We're going to. Oh, Robert, I mean, Robert said. <laughs> Robert said that uh, he was giving that by his wife, right? And <laughs> trying to kill, trying to kill him. What would he get by his wife? No, oh, COVID. Oh, I was just wondering if he had one knuckle. Oh, <laughs> no, <man. laughs> I, I, know. I, I, I was out here referring to COVID or the knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> April. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. No more than one knuckle. Yeah. Anything yeah. over one, and you, it's. I think it might be illegal. I'm not sure. I, I think you're past the, you're past the infusion if you go past one yeah, knuckle. Yeah, it's past the it's past the saving. saving anyway, grace. I applaud that sheriff. Good for him for not uh making yeah, that, trying awesome. to make his people do it. Should it's well, a I choice. Mean, what, Should be a choice. You're gonna take you're gonna take a chance on half of your department walking out, and then what you're gonna be short, and then you can't you can't protect the citizens that, that you're sworn to. Like Chicago, Ro- Ro- Robert says, uh, paint the fence. We're gonna. <laughs> I hope it's clean. That's all I was say. Was that corn you ate last night? I guess and, uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> Sh- Sh- Sherry Sherry Smith says the McRib is the potted meat of fast food. Yeah, that's why a it lot costs of people, twice as much. It, yeah, a lot of people love. Well, that's because of inflation. <laughs> that's for tomorrow, that's for tomorrow's podcast. I, I like potted. But, uh, meat. Yeah, I like potted meat. I do. I you know potted meat and crackers are delicious. Well, that's why they put all the sauce on there, and then you got that bun yeah, with the seeds on. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, when I was a little kid, you talking about that? I'm totally off subject, like usual. But uh, I remember as a little kid, and they said the sesame seed buns and shit like that, and I didn't want to eat no seeds, and I'd sit there and pick all the seeds off of it before I'd fucking eat it. And you know how long that would? Take? I was like, nope, nope, nope. And you can't even taste the fucking seeds on there. I don't know what the point is anyway, but, you know, I eat them now. But That was pop, poppy seeds or the sesame the seeds? The sesame seeds. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know. Poppy like, seeds. Why'd you, why'd you pop hot for meth? Uh, poppy, uh, seeds? poppy seeds. Nerd. <laughs> I just, well, I mean, all right, we got one. Look, we're, we're running good time now. You see, you Thought we were First time for everything. Yeah, we're running good time. Uh, I guess we'll let Freebird have this last one here. I knew it. I knew you were going to come to me with it. I'm coming to you with yeah, it. And uh, with according it. to this one, you know, I mean. I'll give you a little background, Hollister, because this, <laughs> this is actually my hometown, and I still have relatives at this place. Yeah, he made a phone call. And right? I actually had Did, this was that, your Was this your cousin? No, this was uh, not my cousin. <laughs> I'm just checking. Could be. <laughs> It, it could be, but I mean, because we did have some farm animals growing up, and uh, as long uh, as they apparently- don't go free bird, free bird. <laughs> free bird. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was before I grew up. Or was it, uh, or was it going like? Bark? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody saying big cock. No, <laughs> no, it was no. A chicken I took fucker. I took that off. <laughs> chicken uh, it was fucker. The big, the big pecker. You chicken. Uh, I took I took that mask I'm off. Gonna, I bet 
I bet you I'm going to run up to that car and call him a chicken fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Favre. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently a former uh, firefighter, I'm, I'm hoping he's a former firefighter, was arrested. Was he a, a former four- Was he a former firefighter or a former fireman? He was a uh, – it, it could be both. They might have left the former firefighter, <laughs> former and former. Okay. Well, he, he's <laughs> – Rested a fourth time, so I don't four times, four times, four times, people for rape. Well, he's accused of crimes against animals, <laughs> and oh, uh, and funny. a person with a disability. Jesus, it's Christ. a popsicle. Jesus, that's wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> ab- <laughs> so apparently, um, uh, Mister, his name. This is in Bogalusa, Bogalusa, Louisiana. Which you, is on about uh, the, the far east side of the state. Well, it's just, about 30 minutes away from Mississippi. If we would have gave that to Holster, he would have butchered, yeah, he, butchered he, he that messed day. that all up. Bogle, <laughs> USA. Yeah. Bo- <laughs> yeah. Now, guy, the people that are from that area, they don't, they don't pronounce it Bogalusa. It's Bogaloose. Bogaloose. My dad pronounces it. That's where my mom and dad uh, grew up. So, uh, apparently, for the fourth time this year, after multiple rape complaints uh, were reported to the police, uh, apparently, uh, Brandon, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. That might have been what the sheep were saying. Here here we go, Brandon. I think they were going, stop. Stop, Joe, stop. Uh, Don't come. Apparently, the police department received a complaint. Um uh, it must have been the neighbors. <laughs> must have been the neighbors' animals that. Um, yeah, we got to talk about that afterwards. Yeah, they were hollering. Yeah. Do not, <laughs> Do not come. Do not come. Oh, I tell you, my to... <laughs> lost my train. Lost my train of thought on that one. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Sherry, what's up? That's why it smells funny in Bogaloo. <laughs> 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 it's all them damn animals uh, farting because their buttholes are all wallowed uh, out. Well, I, apparently Sherry's been there. <laughs> she barely, she's been to this uh, sex craved uh, city. Uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, he, he's also been arrested for crimes of extortion and non consensual disclosure of private image. Now, I'll tell you what, I bet you the sheep was pissed off because they took a picture of their privates and he didn't get the consent. That's well, right. nowadays, <laughs> he's going to have to have a hoof print <laughs> signature. I'd be like, Your Honor, but that sheep backed it up. Yeah, like, <laughs> threw, <laughs> threw that ass back. That, yeah, that back. <laughs> oh, Lord. This dude just, God. Well, apparently, he's, he was booked into the Washington Parish Jail, so. Uh, I actually, I, it didn't say what his bond was, but apparently he bonded out pretty soon because $25,000. He was, oh, is it? So yeah. he was probably scared that if he didn't bond out soon, the same thing he was doing to the farm animals was going to happen to him in Washington Parish. So his bond was only twenty five grand. I don't know. How yeah. Hysterical. Yeah, no, it's it $25,000. i am looking straight yeah. at it. Uh, so, Judge so. Raymond Ch- Childress, if you know who that is, I don't know. Jesus, just. I mean, I guess your bond ain't much. <laughs> fucking Sounds like an ex state trooper. Oh, I mean, Lord yeah, I mean, he's paying as much for bond as if he walked into an elementary school and opened fire. <laughs> it gets worse. Apparently, he has an accomplice, a female accomplice. So apparently, she she like it's a female Angela. Well, she's got fifteen names: Angela, Dawn, Holloway, Austin. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, I don't know. I mean, so if you just, got just sick individual people there. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We might have, Sherry might have to defend herself on this one. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this fireman guy, he's. Uh, I mean, I bet you he. Whenever he had a house fire, he was the one that ran in to save the like the cats and the dogs and stuff like that. But I have a it's question. Like, why did you run past? Wilhelmina, the eighty-six-year-old lady in her wheelchair. Well, the dog was in distress. <laughs> No, well, apparently he had some. He was molesting somebody in a, uh, that was disabled. Yeah, so he disabled. Didn't, he didn't run too. past Wilhelmina. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped, but apparently God. he went out in the back to to the shed. 
with Willamina. This, this, this is he didn't sick. go out to the farm. They didn't have a picture of this dude because I looked too. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to put a picture of this, this fucker up there. But uh, mm-mm. I don't even see his name. Oh, he shit. Name it, his, he, he apparently was arrested uh, at a St. Tammany Parish nursing home. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. So <laughs> he, he was trying to get to that disabled yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, well, apparently the sheep were going to tell. God. But here's my issue. I look. I, well, it's not an issue. Trust me. I'm happy he's in jail. How does <laughs> how does a sheep report to the police that they were molested? I bet you, he probably videotaped the shit. That they, it were has probably, to be. they were probably. He had to upload it to the internet. I mean, or something. why? Why? I mean, again, again, I, I don't see how people. You know, you, I mean, you just like walking past old McDonald's farm and you're like. Damn, oh, apparently the female that, had a warrant. A, and she that's a good looking sheep right there. Damn. Yeah, I, I wonder. Is there parameters? I don't that? know. Like, I bet, but I'm gonna tell you this right now. Is it the sheep that likes to, you know, shave your ass or something? I don't. I I'm don't gonna tell, that's bad. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that's this right now, though. I, you know, I bet you hit that a hell of a time. Do you get uh, more time for if you fuck a fainting goat because it's unconscious when you're doing <laughs> it? Because as soon as you like touch its butthole, it's just gonna go like it's gonna fall over, and pass out. So just, just, just. I don't know how you come up with this question. That's, that's something I would have never thought about. Hey, well, I, that's I, a good question. I want I just don't know. I don't think I would. How have because about that. because I want I want some fainting goats like really bad, and you wanted a camel. I, want, I still want a camel. I want camels and uh, fainting goats. And I was told that I can't have either by my wife. And Because uh, she said you'd kill them? No. She said the faint, fainting goats, she said she wouldn't get no rest because she'd worry about them <laughs> fainting outside and hit, falling over she and hitting there. She would have to stay up all and, and, night. Yeah, because they might. Man they would, trying to scare they, the damn goats. They would, she says the, the, the poor goats will fall over and might hit their head and hurt themselves. I'm like, no, they're goats. They're they're fine and but but so no i can't have that. and she just said i don't need it. and i only want a one hunting hump camel because they're cheaper but me and hall stare is going to get i want i want to fuck, i want i want i want a fucking camel uh I, I want goats my wife don't like it so i'll i'll buy you one no, for christmas hall stare no. <laughs> and be a little house goat because yeah. fame goats don't get no bigger than I, a fucking I know, little i know tomorrow. alex i know alex I, you have tried you know i I was gonna name my camel Humpy Humpy McCumperson. Just don't and, bite his balls. Hump, You'll be all right. Humpy Humpy McCumper, Humpy, Humpy, Humpy McCumperson. My camel, my pet camel. You know, I think everybody needs a hump day camel. Whoa! I, I, no, I, uh, it's, it's funny. <laughs> reading it's funny yeah. reading the comments. It's funny reading the comments. You can you can you have know. like a goat in the house. You know, you a, a house, people a have pigs goat, in their fucking house. A house goat. Yeah, people do have pigs in their chickens. house. You have chickens in I, your house? No, well, I think you're saying, you know, you know be careful because the Iceman could be behind you. I think the, she would be scared of the faint Yeah, the, well, the Iceman could no, be behind no, the no, faint the, the, in, in Bogalusa, they were, it should have been, uh, be scared the fireman may be behind you. Whoa. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Got to slip you the hose. I bet well, you all apparently them the uh, female was arrested on the same charges. Apparently, she liked uh, animals too. Or hey, like, man, there's uh, a whole genre on the internet for that shit. Just don't click the wrong link. God, could you just see? I mean, what she did? Um, like, got on her knees and let a goat. The bullshit her. we got to put up when today's side and people's <laughs> out there screwing goats. And shit. You got, you got. I'm waiting what? for it to be made legal. You got chicken fuckers, and uh, then you got you got child rapists. I mean. When, I didn't realize I had so many sex crimes on this one until I just thought about it right now. Somebody's uh, a little excited. All right. So, all right. We got to take a vote. I'm going to read them out. This one. Sheep fucker. We get, we get to vote on. All right. We got we got the the ex-sheriff, you know. We're doing the hot nut thing, so I need to know who's getting the hot nuts tonight. We got the ex-sheriff who's raping kids. We got the, the man faking, acting like a cop fake and raped a little girl, 17-year-old girl. We got the Rhode Island letting their non-shooting people graduate. Uh, I'm not doing a DWI guy. I feel (laughs) sorry for him. They don't even own guns. They even practice to shoot. (laughs) We'll whip you with a dildo. We got the the fireman goat fucker. So we got one for the fake cop. Goat fucker, dude. Fireman goat fucker. We got one there for the fake cop. Y'all put y'all things in there so I can see. I don't know. 
So, Yo, fuck I know we got a d- d- little a delay. Roy picks the fake cop. The fake Roy, cop. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Mel put in chicken fucker. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we got one and one. No, well, no whole stare said he's going with the chicken fucker. Yeah. And we got Beth said she's going with the chicken fucker. Yeah. I, I, I think she, we can see where fire this goes. Goat fucker. Fireman goat fucker. <laughs> Aren't they all? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm thinking the the hey, fireman. Wait, no, uh, his son-in-law is a fireman. That's your son-in-law, uh, right? No. Well, my maybe future son-in-law future, is a fireman. Future and my my stepson used to be a fireman. So he hides it well. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna. I, I, well, Fluffy don't have any pets, so if I, I see him starting to collect, you know, some pets, all of a sudden, I'm gonna have to check. If he's got a pen and it's got goats, there's something fishy. <laughs> they running away. I'm going to go milk the goats. They're all boys. Yeah, I'll go milk them. <laughs> <laughs> what about, Brandon asked, what about a giraffe fucker? You have to be a tall motherfucker to be able to fuck a giraffe. Dude, you I mean, to uh, you'd you'd have to get like a ladder to yeah, try you'd have that. To get like have a tall ladder. ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do like carrots, though. So if you paint it orange and just hang it over the fence, you might be yeah, all right. They might bite it off. That would be a tall stall. Huh? That'd be a. Yeah, yeah, it would yeah. be a hell of a glory hole. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Robert says he wants to be a fireman so he 15. can have sleepovers with other men. <laughs> yeah. That's what I told my kids when they w- said they wanted to be firemen. I'm like, no, nah, yeah. That's a smart idea, kids. Play video games all day, have sleepovers, and get paid for it. And dance on the pole. Brandon said Red Bull dance gives some wings. You need some wings to get up there. Uh, and Alex wants to know, how do you know about the carrot deal? Oh, you ain't ever been to the carnival? <laughs> you pay the midgets an extra hundred bucks, they put you in this booth. There's this oh, weird well, long well, they, they used to have those tents that you could see the freak yeah. show. We're just going uh, is straight, that, is straight that off you saw the rails. The freak show? No, I was in the freak show. Oh, straight, shit. straight off the rails. You know, we're going off. That was in the stall midget. next to you. <laughs> anyway, we might as well have fun with it. Just, just going midget. All right, well, we still got to do the fireman. The fireman is going to get the hot nuts. Hot nuts. Here is the little. Thing hot for nuts. it. There's the hot nuts thing. We're gonna do some music here. Hot nuts. The hot nuts. Goat nuts. Chicken nuts. Well, it'd be rooster nuts. It really wouldn't be chickens, would it? <laughs> Brandon said midgets, midgets can hide in suitcases, and that's their secret. Roosters <laughs> don't have nuts. I'm pretty sure they do. I said roosters have nuts. Chickens don't have nuts. Alex, Are you sure? Alex has got a lot of questions. Alex has got a lot. Of, I, I got to lean forward. I keep forgetting that. I gotta, How do you get yeah. close to this damn microphone? Yeah. Well, I, when, I, 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 when I get a, another 150 bucks, I'll buy another headset. I guess that these headsets are 150 bucks each. So <laughs> that fucking mic, that's a $100 microphone. Be happy. <laughs> Chickens have peckers. Yes, they do have peckers and. It's it's bad. It's just you bad. Stuck. I you, you, you no, lost. I'm just I'm just back, I'm just wondering how we just ended up here. On, you know, on it's it's bad that you know everybody loves chicken fingers, but nobody wants to finger a chicken. Yeah. Anyway, chicken uh, fingers are delicious. I tell you what, you hadn't been to Tyson Chicken, have you? <laughs> no, no, you, Mike Tyson. You, there's I, I mean, there's, there's millions of chickens, me. and I guarantee you, as fucked up as we read on stories of people, there's somebody in Tyson Chicken Factory that's fingering a chicken. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be because there's a lot of employees and there's got to be somebody oh, yeah. to somebody be like, like hey boss this. i need a bathroom break come back and be like this chicken's turkey filled <laughs> this is a, i got a stuffed chicken here <laughs> i got salmonella poison how, on my nuts uh, how are you holding that chicken and both of your hands are, are on the table <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck to it. Says, uh, Finger looking good. There's gotta, be, there's gotta be some some messed up people in that chicken factory. And I yeah. and I'm not bl- I'm not making fun well, of Tyson. Guess, there's well, other chicken so. factories. It's you better not make fun of Tyson because that fucker will punch you in the face. He's tough. I always yeah. want to get punched by Tyson. You know, yeah, it's better not be speaking about me like that. <laughs> he better I'd not be, be talking about my chicken. Yeah. I tell you what, the one best interview I've ever seen Mike Tyson do is when that guy had the balls to start asking him about rape allegations. And that that no, dude I like bowed that. up. Yeah, I wouldn't want to piss Mike Tyson off. No, that's, no, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'd what kind wanna... of idiot walks up to Mike Tyson and goes, I'm going to ask you about rape allegations. 
How how long? Brandon was he says, in jail? "Oh my God! If it a year? if it was an ex cop, it'd be totally roll, huh?" He says, "I gave her all my my herps and spices. You should not be giving people herpes, <laughs> herpes Brandon. Spices. Stop it." He said herps, <laughs> and spices. He said herbs, but I just couldn't help myself because yeah. the first time I first time I read it, I was like, you "Why ever, is he telling people he's giving people herps?" I mean, you, you <laughs> improvised you improvised pretty fast on that. Yeah, one. Well, I know herps and spices. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome uh, to Kentucky Fried Chicken with our secret 12 herb, herbs and spices. <laughs> the secret nut sauce. Yeah. Guarantee you, you're going to need some lotion when you leave here. I'm about to put my mask back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we about that time. I appreciate everybody that's been here. Uh, we've just went a little here and a little there and a little bit cluck, everywhere. Cluck, cluck, cluck there. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in a in a moo moo and a chicken fucker and a, we're gonna see a, we're gonna see a TikTok video now with Hulster in it, a chicken <laughs> with uh, a carrot. Nanner, 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 nanner. Yeah, <laughs> it puts the lotion in the basket. You're correct, or it's gonna get or the hose, the hose again. again. Yeah. But anyway, we've had a good crowd tonight. A lot of interaction. I appreciate it. It makes this way more fun and enjoyable. We have fun anyway, but had a lot of fun tonight check back That's in or like i said go like and subscribe on. where most look like everybody here is on facebook uh put your notifications on we're either going to do a political one tomorrow night or i don't know if tomorrow night or saturday night you just have to wait and see it'll pop up if you have your notifications on be around the same time i'm supposing seven or eight o'clock ish come back there's a lot of political shit i want to talk about you know yeah that ought to be censored yeah well <laughs> that, yeah. well well Boop. Well, me and host there also talking about maybe starting a just a podcast on politics, so I don't get one sh- this one shut down because I say some shit that I should that well, that the libs don't like. So yes, yeah, Friday night, Melissa, uh, just calm down. <laughs> so, well, I got plenty of, I might I might I've got like, plenty of opinions. He, he's I he's not on here tonight, uh, but but. I might get in touch with Aaron from I Had to Say It podcast because he said if we wanted to talk about some stuff like that, we could always get with him and do it on his too. So we I'm gonna, do that. I want I'll text Aaron tomorrow and see if he's up for doing something this weekend. If y'all don't know, go listen to Aaron and I Had to Say It podcast. He's another independent podcast. I I enjoy him. He he likes to rant and rave and bitch about stuff. So and he's a cook, and those big boys like yeah, cooks. And, and he and he and he's a chef, so he he can cook some food up. Well, so I've got uh, if you want to listen to my podcast, you can check it out at I don't know. I don't have one. It's just fifteen whatever <laughs> these fifteen things that you have. Shit. Fifteen things. Twiddle and Twitter and uh, yeah. Yeah. Twiddle, yeah. Twiddle, yeah. Twiddle, Twiddle D and Twitter. Cuddle and Muddle or whatever the shit you said earlier. <laughs> we I got that shit I've never even heard of. It's lo it's a new it's lo it's called local and there's rumble local there's uh it's fucking gay sites again. They're not the, they've got the <laughs> the clapper. <laughs> Somebody told you about them and you've been surfing them, Halls there. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> no, that that was uh, what, what's that? What's that site? I don't know. But uh, Pornhub. we're gonna no, it's not Pornhub. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, Grinder that he, Robert knew what I was <laughs> talking about, thinking about. Yes, that's wow. that's the gay one there, Grinder. I'm gonna if anybody's interested, go to Grinder. I'm gonna put up a profile for Freebird on there, and uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but come back this weekend where, like I said, we're going to do one on politics or, like I said, I'll, I'll put a post on Facebook if we do it on uh, errands. Like I said, I'm going to talk to him, see how he wants to do this because I think it'll be fun. I got a lot of shit to say. We need to, we're going to you know, talk about naval shit. Um, naval ship. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> naval like a, shit. A, a, a naval Turtle. belly button ring. And uh, I think it's like he don't know the gay sites. I I forgot my password on it, Roy. I'm just sorry. I was doing too. <laughs> I've been really busy doing hand model, high hand modeling lately. So it takes up a lot of my time. Uh, I can make a bumper know. sticker. Yeah, <laughs> and bumper sticker. So anyway, we're gonna keep rolling on here if we don't shut up. If you'd like to be a guest, email me motorcopchronicles at gmail dot com. Hit me up on Facebook. Leave a message. Uh, Law enforcement, first responders, period, just first responders, dispatchers, corrections, uh, EMTs, firemen, 
if you would like to be a guest, come on. As long as you've been a chicken fucker. Yeah, let me know. Uh, we'll keep you, you know, we won't go live like this. You just want to have guests a lot of times if they want to. Because <laughs> uh, you never know what's going to happen. But we'll give you a nickname if you don't have one and stuff oh, like that. I also shit. did talk to uh, Maximus506 recently. And uh, he's, uh, I talked to him and I think he's got a partner to do some clothing stuff now. I need to get back in touch with him and get him back on there. His canine dog is growing up really quick. If y'all don't remember, go back and listen to that one. Anyway, watch you back. Watch your partners back. Everybody stay safe out there. Come see us either tomorrow or uh, Saturday with uh, the political one. And remember to always smile because the ice man could, be behind you. could always be behind you. As long as you're, Later, not, everybody. As long as you're not a goat. <laughs>